Hi everyone, this is Dunia. Uh, this is Michael. This is Kyrie, and this is our podcast on Emperor's New Groove. Have you? Do you guys like Disney movies? Oh yeah, I like Disney movies. I love Disney movie. I grew up watching uh, Disney movies. Yeah, me too. When I was younger, um, my siblings and I would always like make breakfast and watch this movie. So yeah, this movie has like a lot of good memories for me. The movie is basically about um, this emperor. He's pretty, like, selfish. Um, it starts off with, like, in his um, musical opening, like, establishing that Cusco, is, which is the emperor. He wants, for his 18th birthday, he wants to build, like, this water park called Cusco-topia. Uh, but he is objected by the village leader, Pacha. But, you know, Cusco, being selfish and everything, he disregards Pacha and plans to build um, the water park anyways. Um, so later on in the movie... Cusco goes to a dinner with his ex-advisor Yzma and her um, assistant Kronk. Um, Yzma wants to rule um, instead of Cusco, so she plans to poison Cusco, but her assistant didn't give Cusco the potion to like kill him. He ends up actually giving Cusco the poison and turns him into yeah, a llama. Yeah. Yeah. So from that point on, uh, the movie kind of takes on a Beauty and the Beast kind of plot, like arrogant emperor or prince turns into an animal has to learn a lesson then turns back into human once mm -hmm. he learns that lesson so pacha the village leader actually helps him on his journey to become human again and he teaches cusco like lessons of humility and yeah and he actually ends up realizing that cusco is just a kid and kind of misguided and obviously like every disney movie cusco ends up learning his lesson and swears to treat his um subjects kindly so what kind of rhetoric do you guys see in that clip? Uh, we can see ethos. Cusco deciding between the potion and saving Pacha. Uh, at the beginning, uh, Cusco, he was uh, pretty selfish, but at the end, uh, he's not. And he learned, like, morals and values. Mm -hmm. Also, Pacha telling Cusco to take the potion instead of helping him shows the audience Pacha's moral on his view of what what was right in that situation all right guys uh what about pathos you can really see all the emotions that Cusco and pachas are feeling in the scenes uh also Cusco is conflicted because he wants to be human again but he also doesn't want pacha so fall to his death pacha wants to be uh pacha wants the best for for Cusco, but then again he also doesn't want to fall to this death Guys, what do you guys uh, think about how pathos affects um, on the audience? As an audience member, you kind of feel proud of Cusco and how far he's come on his journey to not only become human physically, but also he becomes a more mature emperor and is a completely different person from the snobby kid that we saw at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, also, when Kusta and Pacha join arms to work together, it's a sort of feel-good moment for everyone. We see how good friends Pacha and Cusco have become and how everything has come full circle. Yeah, that's a great point, Dunya. Uh, what do you guys think about the logos in the scene? Well, Cusco and Isma want to be created from their animals' forms. So they thought process is logical. Yeah, that's great, Michael. For me, I see like logos in the comedy aspect. Um, you know how like when cartoons have, you know how cartoons have that um, funny detail where yeah. it they create like illogical scenes um, yeah. to make funny points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like Emperor's New Groove, like humans turning into animals and then falling from really high pyramids and then getting the potion it's like it's crazy but it's also like really funny and illogical so mm -hmm. the logos is the director had to have a logical thought process in order to create an illogical you know funny scene so yeah that's my yeah. take that's a great point Carrie. uh let's talk about the music um it's very important whenever something exciting is happening the music will play into that moment for example, when Cusco and Pacha join the arms, mm -hmm. the music followed the emotion that the character and even the audience felt. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think uh, they use these rhetorical devices, Dunya? You? Um, um, I think uh, for the logos part of the video clip, 
They use the rhetorical device in a way to develop the movie's comedy. Like when Kronk opened the window door at the very top of the uh, pyramid and crunch Isma, that is just unlikely mm -hmm. and illogical. That's, you just have to laugh. And the effect is the audience laughing at what is happening in the scene. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what do you think, Michael, about like the rhetorical devices? Well, I think they use ethos in, in a way so that the movie is a lesson. Uh, when this when this movie was realized, uh, it was meant for kids and most kids movies have mm -hmm. lesson to be yeah. learned. For example, uh, we can see on, on Disney, there's a lot of, uh, of movies uh, that bring a, a lesson for the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, for example, Rara Twill has a great lesson about uh, taking credit that is not yours uh, in this sense. Cusco choosing to say Pacha also instead of the potion to cure himself shows selfishness, mm -hmm. which is the ultimate moral of the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. For me, I see like the, the reason why they used pathos was because they wanted to, like what you said, Michael, they yeah. wanted to show the audience like yeah, exactly. a lesson. Um, for example, when Cusco was deciding between Pacha and the potion, mm -hmm. they showed um, how he felt in that moment, like um, the feeling of conviction, mm -hmm. uh, how he wanted to be selfish in that moment, but he also wanted to save his friend, which also played into his character development and how mm -hmm. he went from being selfish to selfless. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the reason why they used pathos was probably to show the audience that it's okay to feel those emotions so long as you do the right thing in the end. How convinced are we that Cusco has changed for the better? Well, Cusco literally changed his physical appearance at the, at the beginning of the movie. He was human, of course, uh, but he's also very considered and selfish when he is turned into a llama. Uh, however, he he begins to learn what selfishness means. He walked amongst this, his subjects and learned that they were all just people who weren't as uh, disgusting. For me, uh Pathos, um, the change of Cusco on the inside, uh, he, he changed his personality. Do you guys think that maybe instead of seeing his change as pathos, that you could see it more as ethos? Because he finally realizes what's right and what's wrong instead of really like, you know, changing like emotions wise. I think both. I'm agree with with you yeah, 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 that makes sense. The story and the, a lot of things that Mr. Griffin is teaching us, like, for example, the pathos and the logos that sometimes we don't know. But this uh, makes sense, and mm -hmm. we can see which one is the pathos and logos. This is a great point to us, and we learn a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Thank you for listening, you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. See you in the next podcast. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>